In this short session, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily set up an intercompany account within Xero. Now, you're probably wondering why you may want to do this. Well, let's say you own two businesses, Company 1 and Company 2. And Company 1 gets a purchase invoice it can't afford to pay, whereas Company 2 has excess funds and could easily pay it on its behalf. This is obviously a loan between the two businesses, and you need to make sure that it's shown correctly within your accounting records. In the past, advisors have suggested that you set up bank accounts. However, this can actually cause duplicate work and unnecessary reconciliations. I'd actually suggest that you set it up as a nominal account. Now, I'm just going to show you how to do this. It will take you no more than 30 seconds. If we click on Settings, Chart of Accounts, then simply click on Add Account. Within here, you have the options of Current Asset or Current Liability. Current asset is where the other business is likely to owe this one. Current liability is where this business is likely to owe the money to the other business. We'll use current liability for this example. If you then choose an account code, now obviously zero convention suggests that current assets should be 600 codes and current liability should be 800 codes. We'll use 841. Call it intercompany account company one. You can leave description blank. You can leave the VAT set as no VAT. You don't need to tick the top two boxes, but you do need to tick the third box. Enable payments to this account. Then click save. And that's you done. To show you how you'd actually process this, let's say this company has a purchase invoice that needs to be paid by the other business. You simply click accounts, purchases, find the invoice that needs to be paid. So we will use ABC Furniture. Pop in the date down the bottom here where it says what make a payment, pop in the date. And in the drop down list, simply choose intercompany account company one and click add payment. This invoice will now disappear from your creditors list and will show as a loan to company one. To show you what I mean, if we go to reports, balance sheet, you'll now see current liability to intercompany account company number one for £1,200. Obviously, you now need to record the transaction in the company number one's zero account. In order to do this, as you do a bank reconciliation and you see the money leaving the account, simply use the create function. And when you choose the account from the drop down list, choose the intercompany account that you've set up. If you have any further queries, please do give us a call on 0330 330 7777 or visit our website at www.7accounts.com.